Hello, early years. It's lovely to see you all. Today, we are going to be reading a story about one, two, three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They were brave, they were bold, but they weren't very big. One fine day, the little pigs set off to see the world. Goodbye! Bye, dear piglets. Always look out for the big bad wolf, said their mother. He's bad, he's big, and he'd love to eat a tasty little. The three little pigs hadn't gone very far when they met a man carrying a heavy load of straw. I could build a very fine house with that straw, said the first little pig. And he did. The two little pigs set off, leaving their brother at his house of straw. Before long, a man came by with sticks on his back piled ever so high. I could build a very fine house with those sticks, said the second little pig. And she did. The last little pig set off, leaving his sister at her house of sticks. Soon he met a man carrying a load of bricks. Oh, I could build a very fine house with those bricks, said the third little pig. And he did. Meanwhile, who was creeping up to the house of straw? It was the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in, squeaked the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, roared the wolf. Help! And he did. That was the end of the first little pig. Next, the wolf crept up to the house of sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in, squeaked the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, roared the wolf. <laughs> and he did. And that was the end of the second little pig. Next, the wolf crept up to the house of bricks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he growled. No, by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in, squeaked the third little pig. I'm safe in here. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he couldn't blow down the house of bricks. Hmm, I need a new plan. Little pig, called the wolf. Be ready at six o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll gather up some tasty turnips. I'll be there. So the little pig knew that the wolf had planned to eat him. So he set off at five o'clock. He filled his basket with tasty turnips and hurried home for six o'clock. Bother, growled the wolf. Little pig, called the wolf. Be ready at five o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll pick some juicy apples. So the pig set off at four o'clock. He filled his basket with juicy apples and hurried home at five o'clock. <gasps> Bother, roared the wolf. Little pig, called the wolf. Be ready at four o'clock this afternoon and we'll go to the fair. As soon as the wolf went by, the little pig set off for the fair. Oh, he had so much fun. At four o'clock, the wolf arrived. Just then, the little pig rolled from the, fa rolled from the fair inside a barrel and he bowled right over the wolf. Quickly, the little pig ran back indoors. Now the wolf was really angry. He climbed onto the roof. Little pig, I'm coming to eat you. He shouted down the chimney. Indoors, the pig put on a pot of water to boil. Suddenly, the wolf fell down the chimney into the pot of boiling water with a crash and a splash. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. And the little pig said, now I can live happily ever after in my very fine house of bricks. And he 
Good. Home sweet home. See you all next time for another story time. Bye.